what in tarnation is this black magic? Oh, hey, howdy, feller. I'm Ricky Bobby, a biological systems engineer here at K-State. I'm sure you're wondering what a good old country boy like me is just doing sitting around here. Well, I'll tell you exactly what I'm doing. I'm thinking about the pros and cons of using fertilizers on my crops back home. It's a real goat rope with all the ethics and all. But maybe the one and only Dr. H can help answer some of my questions. Uh, over application of fertilizer it becomes a problem. Um, when we apply more than the plant can use, that fertilizer can be mobile. And mm -hmm. so when we have rainfall happen, um, it can be kind of washed off the surface if it hasn't been incorporated into the soil. Um, if we're in an area that it, um, has a lot of rainfall or irrigation and soils that are sandier or more porous, um, that extra fertilizer can work its way all the way through the root zone and go down into the groundwater. So, so the um, kind of this wash off of the surface, the soil, or movement through the soil, we, we refer to that as non-point source pollution. Mm -hmm. So that that nitrogen, one little molecule of nitrogen, isn't a big problem, but it's when we start to wash that nitrogen off of a lot of soil, or when we apply a lot of excess nitrogen, um, and it gets into the water, it the nitrogen is going to dissolve um, in the water and move with the water. And so, typically, by the time we're kind of moving in that form, the nitrogen is in the form of nitrate. Uh, the nitrate is one that in our, in our freshwater bodies um, is used by um, uh, algae and so that can then cause a lot of algal bloom. So um, in this part of Kansas you'll hear people frequently in late summer start talking about algal blooms or blue green algae um, and that is related to having excess nitrogen in the water. Um, as that nitrogen is used by, um, by algae or other aquatic plants, it can actually use a lot of the oxygen that's mm -hmm. in the water. So it starts to remove oxygen from the water, which can then result in fish kills because mm -hmm. we start to see um, that whole water chemistry change and what, it, what you know, kind of the life system that the water used to support is no longer um, able to survive in the new conditions. Where we get into trouble with the land application of manure is that we have a lot of phosphorus that comes in. Mm -hmm. And the phosphorus um, can cause a lot of the same problems as the nitrogen in our surface waters. So over application of manure, it's more so a problem with phosphorus than nitrogen at that point. Mm -hmm. Um, what Kansas has done and a lot of states have done is that they have demanded that you have um, manure management plans. And those manure management plans, you will, you can't, oh, you have to be careful to apply based on the phosphorus need of the soil and plant system, not the nitrogen need. Mm -hmm. And then you supplement that with a nitrogen-based um, fertilizer. Um, and I think this is probably a little bit of a bigger challenge, and that is precision irrigation systems. Um, we need to start to apply the amount of water that we need for mm -hmm. the plant. And not only so that we don't have excess water for washing off of our, our nitrogen or leaching the nitrogen through the soil profile, but also understanding that sandy soils are going to percolate and move soil quicker than clay soils. And, um, you know, most of us, you know, we have some fields that are nice and homogenous and all really good, you know, kind of sandy loam soils for growth. But there's a lot of fields where we've got a lot of different soil types across the field. So being able to change um, center pivot systems or change um, how we even do, um, if we go to a, a subsurface drip system, being able to manage that such that we're able to precisely apply the amount of water that we need across different locations in the field and over different times in the growing season will also have an impact on keeping the fertilizer where we want it so that it's used by the plants when they need it. Okay. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. That was a wee-hoo. But it's clear as mud now.